Hello, thanks for stopping by Made by Monica. We are going to make this cute bunny butt floral tin. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is pick up one of these tins at Dollar Tree. Now this one is the, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, floral and jardin tin. But anyway, um, they have the ones that say uh, flowers and garden, I think. So pick up either one that you want. We're gonna go ahead and just paint this one white and then we're going to uh, distress it with some gray with a chip brush and uh, I'll show you that here in just a second so to get started we just want to paint our bucket white and just all the way around and you're just gonna let that dry paint just a little bit on the inside as well make sure you get that small rim on top um, because some of that can be seen so you want to make sure that uh, that's all covered up if that's how you like it you you can actually just do the white you know on the galvanized and just kind of brush lightly the white on there and that would be really cute as well but we're going to go back and distress it in the gray so i'm just trying to give it a quick dry here so that uh, that's all dry before we put that gray on so now i just have this gray chalk paint that i'm using and <clears throat> you really want to tap that brush off as you can see on this first one this first side here I got just a little heavy handed on that, but you can see when you go over those letters, look how those pop off. Isn't that gorgeous? It's, it's gonna be gorgeous. Like I said, I, I got a little heavy handed on this side. So I'll show you when I flip it around um, and, and a lot of that paint is off of that chip brush, um, what that looks like when it's not quite so heavy. So you just want to go over that real light and then those just start popping off like that. It is absolutely gorgeous. So I went ahead on the other side. I just took my white paint and I just painted over that. And you'll see, I'll, I'll flip it around again and, <laughs> and repaint it. But you know what? That's crafting, right guys? I mean, you know, we don't always get it right the first time and, and that's okay. Pretty much everything is fixable. So if you have something that you just don't like, then just get your paint back out and redo it. You can paint your whole bucket gray if you want to, or uh, you know, use uh, sandpaper or something. But anyway, that's me doing the other side. So that came out a lot better, I thought. Okay, so you're gonna wanna pick up one of these little bunnies from Dollar Tree, and he's got the little pink feet. And I'll show you here in just a second. This, this is how we're going to get his little butt to show. So uh, we're gonna pop up his little pink feet there so you can see uh, the pink pads. So go ahead and just tuck him on down into your tin and then we're going to hot glue his little legs up so that you can see uh, the bottom of his feet a lot better. So we're just going to um, pop those up there just with a little bit of hot glue in there. Now you have to hold that hot glue so make sure you put a nice big pile puddle of glue because we're really trying to get that to hold so when you pull his leg up like that you're going to want to hold that for quite a while or even get your heat gun out and uh, go ahead and dry that glue but we want to make sure that his leg doesn't pop back down so um, you know just make sure that glue is really dry before you let go because uh, it will kind of let loose so We've got that first one done and now we're going to go ahead and pull his second leg up we're just going to hot glue it on up there like i said a nice big pile of hot glue and then you either want to just hold 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 or um you know go ahead and use that heat gun then to to help dry that so all right so now we have the feet done and he is all ready to go we're going to tuck him down in now he stood up a little bit more than than i'd liked so i'm going to go ahead and push his little belly down and we're gonna just put some hot glue underneath his belly and kind of glue him down to the tin so that he doesn't like stick straight up into the air. So, but that's kind of how you get that, that little butt to kind of stick out. So we just wanna make sure that uh, he is tucked down in there. So that's all you need to do. Just get a little hot glue under his tummy and just hold that. All right, so now his little butt showing. Now we need a little tail. So I have a couple of options for tails. I, I picked this up, but I think he just ends up being way too big, way too big. Um, but then there was also another option that if you just wanted to do a pom-pom, you could get these felt stickers and do the little feet. 
on the bottom. But anyway, this is what we're gonna use for his tail. So I picked up one of these little kits at Dollar Tree and we're gonna use the smaller pom-pom out of the pack. And so you just wanna pull that out of the pack. They're pretty squished and so you really just wanna give it a nice fluffing. Kind of figure out, you know, where you wanna put it. And then we're just gonna, again, use a nice big pile puddle of hot glue and we're gonna put it right on his tail there. Um, and it's gonna give a nice cute little butt. Now you can use white if you want to. I just chose to use pink so that it popped off a little more and you could tell that it was his tail. So, but you know, feel free to use white if, if you wanna do that. So no big deal. But there he is, all cutie patootie butt. Now we're gonna go ahead and get some florals. Dollar Tree carries these lavender florals. And these are the ones that they kind of shed a lot. So if you shake it too much, those leaves start falling off. So I was kind of trying not to handle it too much till I got them in that tin there. So, um, but these are the lavender ones that I chose. They have lots of different florals at Dollar Tree. So, you know, you pick out what you like. If you like, you know, the lavender look, um, go ahead and do that. And if not, you go ahead and choose whatever florals that you like to do. So we're just going to cut those off and you're just gonna put that down to your styrofoam. Now on the styrofoam, this is just what I had on hand in my stash. I would have rather have had one of the long um, pieces of styrofoam that fits down in there. But I think because we tucked his head down in there on the side like that, I actually think these two circles ended up working out pretty nicely. So uh, you'll see once we get these florals done. It, it ends up looking you know, pretty nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these carrots. You can pick these up as, at Dollar Tree as well. And we are going to tuck a couple of those in and around throughout there. I, I think I had like five left. And so I think I used that whole pack plus that one that was sitting there. And if, if it's gonna be seen all the way around, you probably wanna put your carrots and make sure your florals look nice you know, all the way around the tin. And so I was just kind of dry fitting these here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use this um, grass that you get from Dollar Tree as well. Now, I don't remember seeing this one before. I, I picked it up at Dollar Tree, but it seemed new to me. So now this one was back in the floral section, uh, not the Easter section, but feel free to get Easter grass if, if you would rather do Easter grass. And they do have like a brown Spanish moss type. Uh, as well or they always carry you know like the reindeer moss and stuff like that so uh, lots of options then to kind of fill in your bucket so make sure you just go all the way around like I said if it's going to be seen you know on the back if you're going to have it on your dining room table or something you just want to make sure that you know it gets kind of tucked in all the way around there so that that all looks nice and full and if you have you know stragglers that hang over the bucket like that go ahead and just use your scissors and trim those off if you don't like those hanging out and uh, it gives it a real nice look. So, uh, And then we have uh, one of these uh, chalkboard picks from Dollar Tree. And so I just wrote fresh flowers on mine, but you could do spring has sprung or you know something like that. Uh, they also have a lot of options for the chalkboard signs that you could do as well. So we just kind of tuck that right in the front right there. And there we go. We have our little bunny butt in our floral tin with our beautiful lavender in there. And I think that he just looks absolutely so stinking cute. So really, really cute craft for Easter, for spring. You could leave this out all spring. So thank you guys so much for watching and please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thank you.